Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 controversial TLC shows. Is this a New York gay for you? New York? Yeah. Yeah, we'll have this. For this list, we'll be looking at series from the network that have sparked questions, concerns, scandals, and contentious debates. Are there any outrageous shows we missed? Let us know in the comments. Number 10. Toddlers and Tiaras most reality series that star children are bound to attract skeptics. With a premise surrounding intense preparation for beauty pageants, Toddlers and Tiaras was no different. Despite its popularity and high ratings, the show quickly gained criticism due to its regular display of provocative outfit choices, damaging beauty standards, and questionable parenting styles. Controversy ultimately stemmed from concerns regarding the well-being of the young contestants, who often didn't seem nearly as interested or competitive as their mothers. When she got up there, she started crying. She was excited, though. I know she was. Oh, let's give her a nice round of applause. Many girls have cried and broken down, stirring up debates about whether flippers, fake tans, heavy makeup, and spending loads of money to achieve the perfect look are good examples for children. When Kaylee walks on stage, it's one of my proudest moments as a mom. I've always wanted to be the best of the best in anything that I did, and I absolutely instill those same values in Kaylee. Number 9. Gypsy Sisters as a spin-off to the equally controversial My Big Fat American Gypsy Wedding, this series shared a look into the lifestyle of Romney Chal women. You laughed for four months. She made me leave! She made me leave! Her feelings was hurt. No, her feelings are never hurt! My feelings are always hurt! She's always talking about me! Every time I come around her, it's an argument! I'm sick of it! Following the West Virginian Stanley family, the show received low ratings and condemnation, likely due to its perpetuation of cultural stereotypes and cast member scandals. When gypsies fight, it has to be on neutral territory so no one calls law. Kayla challenged me to a fight, but then she couldn't come on an agreement where to meet me at. The stars routinely behaved questionably, as marrying young and instigating drama served as the show's focal points. Even more problematic were the legal woes of one of the siblings, who pleaded guilty to her involvement in a fraudulent scam. With all this considered, it was no surprise that TLC opted to pull the show from its queue. That was just the last straw for me. I don't blame you one bit. Number 8. My 600 Pound Life Detailing stories of morbid obesity, the series sheds light on daily struggles faced by bariatric patients carrying a debilitating amount of weight. Renee showed up at the hospital yesterday claiming that she was having stomach pain and a number of other issues. So we ran some tests on her and found nothing life-threatening. While ideas of embarking on weight loss journeys and improving one's health are inherently positive, the show has generated negative reactions during its 10 years and counting on air. Some viewers have deemed it exploitative, as patients are regularly shown bathing in vulnerable scenes perceived as invasive and unnecessary. When I'm done, Dawn has to clean me up, and that's probably the most humiliating part of my day. Okay. Buckets ready. Further controversy has emerged amidst legal suits, which alleged negligence, medical payment failures, and insufficient mental health treatments. With dire circumstances at the forefront, it seems the fine line between providing entertainment and preserving patient well-being has been crossed. It's really hard to watch her spiral like that. I'm trying my best to keep like a positive mindset. Number 7. John and Kate Plus 8 it's no secret that TLC is keen to create shows about unique families. An earlier installment of this trend, this series followed the Goslins, a unit made up of John, Kate, and their eight children. John and I both always knew we wanted to have kids. Hi. But never imagined we'd have this many. Relatable marital quarrels and wholesome scenes with the adorable kids initially gained the program high viewership. But things took a turn when intensified fighting and spanking instilled concerns of verbal and physical abuse. So we lose their shoes and then they have nothing to wear. I lose have, their listen, shoes. I have enough to keep track of. This is what I'm saying. Stand with me or stand against me. Kate's behavior as a wife and mother resulted in backlash, and both parents were condemned for seemingly using their kids as a ticket to money and fame. The pair's rocky dynamic and cheating rumors led to a messy divorce and the show's eventual cancellation. Why did the divorce happen? Yeah. Because a certain person left me for a certain somebody. John alleges that certain somebody worked closely with his family on the series. Number 6. Breaking Amish 
Anabaptists deviating from the Amish lifestyle proved to be an intriguing concept. Leaving the Amish is jumping the fence. I'm looking to jump the fence. I just want to go out. I want to experience like everything. Breaking Amish saw young adults contemplate staying put in their communities or leaving them behind to break free from the constraints of religion. Though watching navigations of love, work, and drama in the world of New York City provided entertainment, the show wasn't without controversy. The right stop. Oh my god. Alleged false portrayals of the cast and suspicions regarding fact and fiction damaged the series' credibility, considering the reality show was supposedly unscripted. You think there's a chance she left? I don't know, you know? She didn't like it here at all. So what's going on, guys? We're trying to figure out where Miriam is. Thanks to exposed secrets from cast members' pasts and evidence pointing to misrepresentations, the program was deemed staged and contrived. Number 5. Sister Wives Any series focusing on religious beliefs is likely to spark debates. They have adopted the faith that embraces that lifestyle. Uh, in fact, it recommends it. Since its premiere in 2010, Sister Wives has showcased the polygamous lifestyle of Cody Brown, his four spouses, and their combined 18 kids. The legality of Brown's multiple unions drew criticism from the start, and later resulted in a family move to escape potential consequences. There's been some discussion about what the next step for our family, and we, are, we have seriously considered after a lot of talk of moving out of state. Moreover, Brown's third wife, Christine, separated from the family in 2021, and he and his first wife, Mary, divorced, even though she remained part of the family. Mary also experienced a scandal of her own as an unfortunate catfish affair played out on camera. I wanted to run away and hide and not even deal with it, you know, because it is embarrassing and, you know, Shameful. Many have perceived the sister wives as unhappy with their situation, raising questions about polygamy and its impacts. Number 4. Unexpected A more recent TLC series airing on the network is Unexpected, which tells the stories of pregnant teens and their partners, families, and experiences carrying children so young. They did not tell me that in birth class. Did they? They might have if you paid attention. I left through half of it. Huh? Reminiscent of controversial MTV shows like 16 and Pregnant and Teen Mom, the show was poorly received by those who had seen the idea many times before. I have this sort of thing where I don't like condoms and I don't use them. Well, you put it on and then tuck it off. Because I'm a professional raw dogger. <laughs> In addition to claims of copying existing series, concerns surrounding vulnerable teenagers' privacy and the potential glorification of teen pregnancy are unsettling to some viewers. Many scenes show displays of immaturity and shocking behavior, begging the question of minors' place in the world of reality television. She knows right from wrong, like, so she, she knew what she was doing. I don't understand why she's being as big of a bitch as she's being right now. Number 3. 90 Day Fiancé As TLC's most popular franchise with an abundance of spin-offs, 90 Day Fiancé has become somewhat of a phenomenon. The series has seen great rating success, but its premise around the K-1 visa process is highly disputed amongst skeptics and critics, including cast members, friends, and family. Even like with the whole visa process, Chris had the co-sponsor to help David bring you here to prove that David had the means to provide for you. Did you know that? From the start, the show quickly raised eyebrows as U.S. citizens and their foreign fiancés apply for visas and must marry within 90 days. I think that when it comes down to a, a nice venue for the wedding, maybe Mike and I are on a different page. I have a more, like, girly taste. Mike probably doesn't care that much. Ulterior immigration motives are primary concerns for viewers, in addition to the perpetuation of cultural stigmas, rushed timelines, and seemingly forced relationships. Come on, Mike, that's too much. It's a bit weird. It's weird. I've never seen such thing in my life. It's safe to assume the franchise won't be axed anytime soon, so social media debates and widespread suspicions are likely to rage on. Number 2. Here Comes Honey Boo Boo 
First making her mark on toddlers and tiaras, Alana Thompson, better known as Honey Boo Boo, continued to be unapologetically herself in a show starring her polarizing family. When Mama said we was going to Six Flags, I was so excited, I almost came out of my skin. That would be weird. I would be riding around to just in my bones. Offering a look into their household, Alana, her siblings, and her parents, Mama June and Sugar Bear, shocked the world with their outrageous dynamics and personalities. Critics deemed the show offensive and questionable, with unhealthy habits, interesting parenting, and brash conversations regularly being shown. My mother has told me in the past that if you fart 12 to 15 times a day, you can lose a lot of weight, so I think I'm gonna lose a lot of weight because I'm gonna fart a lot. But what truly made the show a contentious topic was the revelation that Mama June had relations with convicted sex offenders, one of whom mistreated one of her own daughters. This ultimately led to the show's cancellation after a four-season run. In etiquette class, I learned nothing because it wasn't fun. Etiquette classes are for stupid people. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few dishonorable mentions. Cheer perfection, harsh parenting and unrealistic expectations in a world of competitive cheerleading. Stop. Look, if you couldn't fly, you wouldn't be out here nowhere because you can't remember where you're going. Do you want to cheer or not? Then know what you're doing, Cambry. Hoarding, buried alive, exploiting a debilitating disorder in the name of entertainment. I think I'm the only person that's left trying to help my mother. I mean, the other families tried to help, but it seems that at this point they've just kind of given up. Buying naked. A nudist real estate agent works with clients who share her unique lifestyle. People who want to go nude, and there's lots of them, they come to Pasco County, Florida. It is the nudist capital of the world. Seeking sister wife. Cody Brown isn't the only TLC husband with multiple wives. Very special um, to be able to, you know, sleep next to the one you love for sure. I like to be snuggled up in the middle. <laughs> yes, you do. It's a nice spot for me. <laughs> Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. 19 Kids and Counting Arguably TLC's most controversial family is the Duggars, a unit led by Jim Bob and Michelle who bore a whopping 19 children. As devout Baptists, the family enforced strict standards in accordance with conservative beliefs. God talks about a wife um, doing her husband good and not evil all the days of her life. And I think that is what I say to my girls. You want to be your husband's biggest cheerleader. The kids' internet access was restricted, and they were expected to dress modestly, practice abstinence, and engage in chaperoned courtship. While this was enough to attract criticism, things got worse when political views and hidden scandals were exposed. It was first revealed that the Duggars were against progressive legislation for the transgender community. Critics say the family's recent anti-LGBT statements have gone just too far. Matriarch Michelle Duggar did a robocall in August when the City Council of Fayetteville, Arkansas was considering an anti-gay discrimination ordinance. But most infamously, news later broke that the eldest son, Josh Duggar, mistreated young girls, including some of his sisters. Amidst serious allegations and petitions calling for cancellation, the series inevitably met its end. And Jessa spoke exclusively to Fox News' Megyn Kelly, as did their parents, Jim Bob and Michelle Duggar. The mom and dad described the day they first learned about their son's issues. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from Watch Mojo and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.